Larry Castle here with Church Creative, and I have in my hands the Canon EOS M. Started seeing on YouTube tons of reviews of this older Canon camera, one of the first Canon mirrorless cameras. People talked about what great cinematic footage you could capture with this and how inexpensive it is. So for just a 150 to 200 bucks, you can get a camera that captures great B-roll, great looking footage, and uh, but you have to install Magic Lantern. Just about every review explained how you need the software on your camera called Magic Lantern. So I did that, got my Canon EOS M, tried to install the software and ran into a problem. Kept getting a message that the ML directory could not be found. Couldn't find an answer anywhere. After a couple weeks actually of trial and error, giving up, starting again, I found the answer on an obscure post on a forum somewhere. And so I'm going to make this short video to show you how to get that problem fixed so you don't have to go looking around for weeks like I did. So let's take a look now. All right, so the first thing that I want to show you is actually the right way or the um, recommended way that you install Magic Lantern that caused the issue for me and then I'll show you how the workaround works. So you just want to go to, as you see here, go to the Magic Lantern website. That's actually just magiclantern.fm. And when you get there, go to Downloads, and you want to look at Nightly Builds. And then just find your camera model. I'm using the Canon EOS M, as I mentioned earlier. So I'm going to click on that. And this is the download page. Then you just click to download the latest build right there at the top, the green button. So that will download. And then I have already here my... Um, memory card for my EOS M right here. And uh, I've got the files that I downloaded over here. So I'm gonna double click that zip file, open it up. And then there should be three files inside of there. That's what you see here. And you just wanna highlight all of those files. You can either copy them and then paste them over into the uh, memory card right in the top level directory, or you can just drag them right over there. So I'm gonna do that, drag them over and drop them on. Whoop. There they go. So all those files are right there. And then all you want to do now is you just want to eject your memory card, put it back into your camera, and uh, then you can get started um, installing Magic Lantern. So let's do that now. All right, so I am putting my memory card back into the camera. There we go. So we got that in the camera and we want to power it on now. And there we go. Behind the scenes in the studio, you can see all the important stuff to make a good broadcast. You've got to have the stream deck, <laughs> your little audio interface, and don't forget the coffee. All right. So you want to hit the menu button. And also just note that um, you should have this set to the camera setting, not the video and not the auto. The menu you're looking for won't be there if you don't have it set to camera in the middle. So there are menus. And then if you see there, I'm on the uh, fourth wrench over in the menus. And there's a firmware option at the bottom when you have it set to camera. So you want to just click on that firmware. It's telling you your current version is 2.0.2. That's the, the latest version. You have to be on that on an EOS M before you can upgrade to Magic Lantern. So you just click on that. And then... Um, it's going to ask you, do you want to update the firmware? You click over to OK, and it should begin the process. Now, I think I'm going to run into the same issue that I ran into last time. And it's not showing. There it goes. ML directory not found. Please copy all ML files. And uh, you can see the files are all there. tells me to restart my camera, but... Magic Lantern did not install. And so I uh, looked everywhere, could not figure out what was going on. And uh, I found a post that explained what it is. And here's what it is. If you're using the latest version of Mac OS, which is Big Sur, it's doing, when you copy files over, it's copying over a file that is not going to work um, for Magic Lantern install. It's something that your Mac OS system does and uh, it's what's causing the problem. So what you want to do is you want to 
format the disk before you put the files on you want to format it to a fat 32 i think it is called and i'll show you how that works all right so i have put my disk back into my macbook and i'm going to hit command space that's just going to bring up your spotlight search and uh, what you want to type into there is disk and utility the disk utility app is what you're looking for so i'm going to launch disk utility and that's going to pop up here and uh, what you want to do there is find your disk don't do this to your internal mac drive you don't want to reformat that but click on the eos disk whatever the name of the um, sd card is that you're using and then you want to go up here and tell it that you want to erase this and when you do that, it's going to ask you what format. And this XFAT format is what's causing the problem. So you want to change that to MS-DOSFAT. I know it's like a Windows format, but that's what you want to do. MS-DOSFAT. So click on that. Click Erase. It'll go through the process, unmounts it, erases the disk. It'll remount it. Should just take a moment. All right, operation successful. So you hit done there. And now we should be able to go back. I'm gonna close this. Now we should be able to go back and uh, reinstall these files here. So let me open a window, go to my uh, card again, and then I'm gonna drag these Magic Lantern files on my newly formatted disk and then I'll eject it and it should work. So let's eject that disk. All right, I'm gonna put it back in the camera. All right, so we're gonna put that back in the camera now. Let's go back over to our camera view so you can see what's on my camera. All right, so here you're seeing now what's on my camera. And I'm gonna hit menu again, just like we did before. I'm gonna tell it to install firmware. Yes for camera, confirm. Now it's gonna go through the process and because our disk has been reformatted to that FAT32 or the DOS format, it should go through and properly install. There it is, backing up ROM zero. Oh, look at that, done. Please restart your camera. So now you just power your camera off and then you power the camera back on. All right, so here they are. Um, here's Magic Lantern. If you are not in the menus, uh, all you have to do is touch with two fingers and you get the Magic Lantern menus. And then you can see, you can scroll through and there's just tons of settings that you can change and customize. Uh, the few things that I changed was like overlays. I wanted to get a clean HDMI out and so you can go into here and you can tell it always hide the overlays. You can say when idle. So I'll show you, for example, what that looks like. So I go back out here and when the camera sits still, all the overlays disappear. I can go back in here and change that to always. And now there's just nothing there. So you've got a clean HDMI out. If you've got your hands on this cool Canon EOS M like I have, and you've been trying to install Magic Lantern on it because you've heard of what you can do with it, but you're running into problems, hopefully this video solves it for you. Just reformat your SD card with Disk Utility on Mac OS, and you should be in business. So do you use a Canon EOS M? Are you using Magic Lantern on it or another camera? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear what settings you recommend as I get started. Help me uh, to better understand how I can take advantage of Magic Lantern. And uh, thanks for joining me for this church creative video, and I will see you in the next one.